They do what is up, my B-Boss baddies and my Batman fellas. It is your girl, Bosana, and welcome, B-Boss Army. So, as you guys can tell by title today, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you need to be doing. Fellas, I know it might be like, okay, I've been getting on my purpose. I've been going to the gym. I have done all these type of things. And it might not feel like you are getting results from it but i'm telling you guys today there's absolutely ways around it and there's things that maybe you guys aren't including that's not working and that leads to any man can get a woman to chase i'm telling you guys hands down because women go for a specific type of thing specific type of things over and over and over again okay so please give this video a big thumbs up at any point if you want another version of this video let your girl know and i do have two other channels links down below let's go ahead and get started so first thing that i want to go straight into is that become the true good become sorry guys become the two two it's kind of a tongue twister a little bit too good to be true you gotta say it slow that's all become the too good to be true man that that woman can't believe is actually you so this means you got to become secret secretive to be exact and it might just lead you to have to hide things become a hidden person in general so to become this too good to be true guy y'all gotta get that a lot of times when these girls meet these guys and get with them of course if he has money and status those are the too good to be too good to be too <laughs> i keep struggling with this one wow and i wrote this down it came up with this <laughs> like wow um those too good to be too too good to be too and then sirens okay so the tutu let's call it like that <clears throat> so the tutu when you fellas go ahead and do that y'all gotta get that when girls are meeting you guys they're getting with these guys because absolutely they're caught up in that idea the fantasy of oh he has money i'm taking care of oh he has status oh that's gonna give me clout or that's gonna give me value or people are gonna recognize me for my beauty oh he has more money more money means i can go ahead and look better and show off my bags and show off on all these girls and i'm not sure what's going on out there you guys i'm sure you hear if you guys do hear it the alarms fire alarms or whatever sirens i mean anyways so going ahead and wrapping up with this whole secretive and hidden part of it you guys it might lead into sneakiness and basically becoming you guys probably heard of sneaky link that's not really even what i'm trying to get to but i'm talking about really the childish things honestly that's kind of how i see it like the childish games the i only see you around and we got to play around and you know i know it's a certain thing and this is how modern day is and society is now Nowadays, but unfortunately this is just what it takes to have that entertainment and excitement going for a woman to really get that old oh, desire of coming back so it might cause you to be sneaky and not it doesn't sound the best but in modern day with the modern day woman women are playing mind games so they do have sneaky links they do have entanglements they do have friends only with benefits of course but it all leads to things that are still with mind games it all leads to girls get excited and when they have that too good to be true guy that they got with because he had money because he had status when that happens to be the case it doesn't matter about if it's really petty or childish on your end you guys so i'm saying you might feel like as a man you can't be saying certain stuff because you're lying now or you're not being completely honest but how many mind games and how many lies do women straight up tell you guys like how many lies do you guys physically see already you know what i mean in itself so if that's already the case with women think about the things that are coming out their mouth when we already talk about how women and say they want one thing and then they do a whole nother thing right their actions speak differently than what they say right it's the same thing with men right they get with men and they expect um all this to be so lovely because i'm gonna still be who i am but you're gonna be a good man to me and you have to play your role that's what they expect so the too good to be true guy once again that's you becoming that guy that has everything that this girl would typically get with the man for so when i say you might feel like the being sneaky and not being honest completely is bad but you guys are getting treated bad already and you have to deal with bad things with women so to tell her something such as let's say this oh you know if she asks and she wants to be blunt how much do you make if you were to tell her that you make honestly two three more thousand than what you really make is that really gonna hurt somebody no and what's gonna make the difference is that she's gonna be way more excited and then on top of that she would actually continue yes actually continue 
The first time, if it was the other way around where, oh, you didn't make that 3000 more, she wouldn't have continued to talk to you. And so, yes, yes, that 3000 makes a difference for a woman to start chasing a man. Yes, a guy that has money and goes broke will have a woman step back and say, I'm not chasing him again. Yes, that will happen. But it also matters as far as how do you show you care. All those things really do matter. And I do try to separate it. So I'm not going to get into the, the caring and the emotional things. I do that in my other videos. Um, but I will definitely tell you guys that when you do deal with a woman and you become that too good to be too good to be true guy I sh uh, tutu right that's what we're calling it um tutu when you become that tutu guy basically you don't have to think that you're 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 basically coming becoming fictional and she'll never see the true version of yourself it's really just trying to tell a woman that this is who or where i'm heading and that's that Right. So it's like the things that girls already are going to doubt you about and bring you down for and say that you don't have value for y'all are already going to have that going on. So why are you guys going to set yourself up more when you know if you do tell her you're this, you're going to be broke to her. If you do tell her you do that, you're going to be broke. So you're selling her a dream. And I'm going to be telling you guys more about it with my other point, actually. So let's just go ahead and move on. Um, and we'll kind of go back and forth because you guys know there's always more and more to elaborate. So if there's anything I do got to say about number one, and if you guys do have any questions, let me know. But now moving on to the selling the dream. And this is number two. Make her feel like her money is gone. Her money problems are absolutely gone. All of it is gone, gone away. Okay, so. So this is selling a woman once again a dream but this is what happens when women get with men that have money except they are not really selling that woman a dream so a woman that gets with a man for his money yes in that case he's gonna take care of her or whatever that's gonna take for her to stay around because he wants that woman right but in that case it's not him selling her a dream that guy can actually get that woman because he has the money so i'm kind of talking to my fellas that are struggling or girls women are treating guys less than just because you don't have that what eight figures what do they call it all those things that girls are requiring nowadays talking to those and even those guys that are making that much money woman gets to that point and still ask for more so back to what i was saying make her feel like her money problems are going away women start chasing you not now that you're handing out things that could cause you to look like a simp and you should never just spend money on a woman when she tells you oh when are you gonna do this when are you gonna give me the next this you should tell her flat out when are you gonna do this right she has to be giving you something but a lot of times nowadays a lot of guys can never have a woman chase because when their feelings get involved right a little bit of the feeling your emotions never have it available but when their feelings get involved uh, involved as a fella now you have a man deciding to just go ahead and make decisions because i want to actually pay and make sure she's okay or i want to make sure that she's actually going to stick around so you make foolish decisions decisions that lead you to being a simp and she won't chase a man like that because that's not her type of man so now when you make her feel like her money problems are going to go away you don't want to come about it in a simp way. You're doing this once again to kind of still be that too good to be true guy, the too too guy, right? So in this case, that means that you're going to tell her, you know what, I can show you things. And it's not necessarily you're trying to sell her a dream, but it's really to tell her what mindset that you have as a man. I've came across men plenty of times that I've been like, wow, I'm interested to talk more to you. Not even because, oh, I was attracted to them. And y'all don't mind this. This is from working out. I keep saying in my videos, so I didn't want to even say in this video. Um, anyways, but I've said, you know, in, um, not in, sorry, you guys. So back to this, make her feel like her money problems are going away. So like what I was saying with these guys, these guys will come into these girls' lives and it's not necessarily because you're trying, once again, sorry, I have to get back on track, not because you're selling her a dream, but what you're doing, what these fellas are normally doing is that they're telling her something that keeps her excited to stick around to chase for more. That's what you want her to do to chase for that way she can have her money problems go away because she knows that you have the capability of doing it so that means when you tell her things that's selling her a dream but that's gonna convince her right that's gonna make her feel ways and obviously the other stuff has to back it up so the purpose being on your purpose and all those things i didn't talk about that because i've said it so many times in my videos you guys so i'm just gonna wrap up with this point like i've said in my other videos as well if there is questions where you want me to kind of say in other videos let me know or you want me to elaborate in other way let me know but but last thing I'll say, because we have one last thing on my list, is that 
when you go ahead and make her feel like money problems are going to go right away, this is going to give her this idea of a man that's going to take care of her, a man that's going to be a protector, a provider, all those things that women look for in a man. If you got that going on, we can't talk about, oh, your past. We can't talk about, well, you're this and that. Not necessarily, because look who you became. And that's how girls view it. Why do you think girls will get with guys that been cheaters, right? You have a whole history of cheaters, or, you know, you have a history of just getting women pregnant and moving on. Why do you think girls get, you know, get with those guys? You know, they, they don't, they, yeah, you guys know, and I'm not going to continue, right? <laughs> we'll go on for days. So last thing on my list is simple. Um, and it, like I said, if you guys have questions, let me know. Last thing on my list is very simple. And this is, you have to now chase the gym. Stop chasing women, but chase the gym. If you go ahead and basically create gym to not just be a place where you can physically transform yourself, but mentally be a space where yes, you're mentally transforming yourself, but take what you learn in the gym and apply it to your everyday life. As far as your purpose, as far as what else do we preach about all the time? Your purpose, um, status, you know, who cares? Status can come with purpose. You don't got to say nothing about purpose. But, you know, back to the gym thing. So when we have the gym becoming something that can transform your life, it's transforming your mind first thing. Because you can't really make physical change if you don't push yourself most times, right? So what's going to happen? You're going to have to start thinking stronger. What's going to happen? Your mind's going to start building as your body's building. So when you have that, of course, she already, and this is the bonus, she already sees you're physically looking good, right? And that's why I said in my videos, y'all don't got to worry too, too much about your looks, but if your looks is a bonus or you can have that fill in for other areas, you got to take advantage. So your looks is there. That's the bonus. But the better bonus is that mentally you now know how to deal with your emotions. And that means you now know how to deal with her. So when we have a man that chases a gym, he knows how to deal with the gym already, right? That's the part where he transforms his body, his mind in the gym, becomes a better person, improving himself. But what happens when we got a man that has a woman wanting him to chase him? Let's go ahead and wrap up strong. He's going to go ahead and tell that woman, okay, I can't see you. I got to go to the gym. You know, you know, baby girl, you know, you know what time it is, 6 a.m. I got to be at the gym by 7 a.m. And you know, it's a long drive. <laughs> it's a long drive. And you see that right there is enough for a woman to be like, oh, well, you know, come pick me up. Take me with you. It's a long drive. I can keep you company. Or... Sometimes some girls, and this is where you have to get girls to start getting out of their comfort zone or that limitation that they put or barrier you can say that they put when they don't want to be flirtatious or they don't want to hop on it. A guy that comes off confident and says things, right, goes ahead and chases gym and mentally knows that I'm not going to choose a woman over the gym or I know what's better to pick that's going to better myself mentally physically then a guy like that is gonna have a woman want to say okay well i want your attention because she has to go ahead and always grab your attention so now when we have you say you're gonna not miss the gym for her that's like what do you not see me right you know how good i look right she she you're talking about the gym you're going to improve your body she, her body she's gonna be like oh okay well what about you know you know what about me and then Boom, before you eyes know it's body to body. Body to body. You know, yeah, you get what I'm saying? It happens like that because what's becoming is that what's becoming becoming into life. How can I say this? What you guys are creating. That's a better way. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to put in words. What you guys are creating is basically a battle, a, a fight of attention, right? So she's going to be this girl that's going to be good looking. Maybe, you know, that's what a lot of you guys are going for. Hopefully she has more to offer, but She's going to be a girl that, you know, in other areas, she has maybe something to offer or something else that pulls her away from you. Same thing with you that you have to keep going on, fellas, in order to have you chase you. So lastly, to wrap up, if you want her to chase you and you have something else pulling you, that means the second that you know what's best or you know what's going to be a less than desire, which is her, and make you basically go see her because you want to go and release something, you know, release that. Or because you want to just have some fun or you want to not feel lonely. You don't think about that when you're on your purpose, when you're motivated, 
when you're hustling, right? So when you have that pull, you're mentally now strong. You've been chasing the gym. It helped you. It shaped you. Your mind, your your body. So you had that pull every time saying, oh, no, you know that girl is not better than coming and working out. You know that girl is not going to pay your bills. You know that girl is only going to take more money from you. You know that girl is only going to call you around when he's not around. And you see, you see, you start changing and you start becoming this whole version where she didn't even know who you were or not who you were because that was obviously in the past. But she doesn't even know who you are now. And now that leads to, of course, you became a new full version that she now wants to be a part of. And that's where girls go ahead and chase and whoop. It's like, oh, man, I didn't even think I would chase you, but look at you now. Mm -hmm. Goes like that. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Helpful, and y'all will see me in my next video. Bye, guys.